Hi. In uh, video, we'll test uh, the implementation of the queues, the fixed capacity queue, and uh, we present a summary of the Java implementation for the tests. Let's create a new class, test queue, in the same package like uh, the queue interface and fixed capacity queue. And we'll start by creating a method that will print a more detailed description of a queue. Okay, so the method will receive a queue and the name for this queue, and will uh, print the queue name, the li list of elements starting with the uh, first element, the first element added to the queue, and ending with the last element, the last element that was added to the queue. Then we will uh, print the size and check if the queue is empty or not. Uh, you can see how the design of this method uh, will uh, generate for uh, an empty queue. And um, we we'll need also to create a, a main method. In, each, in the main method, we create a queue of strings that uh, will be then printed. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to test the NQ item, the, NQ, the adding of an item uh, to the queue. And as a previous method, this is a generic uh, method that will work for any type of queue. So, uh, this will allow us to do tests for other type of queues, not only for string queues. And um, what we do, we print a detailed uh, description of the operation, like the queue and the items that we want to add. And then if the operation was successful or not, if it was uh, not successful, we will show what exception was uh, uh, obtained. And then we print again the description of the queue after the operation to see how the operation modifies the queue. Uh, we can uh, modify the main method to add four items to our queue. And sure, the first two items will work fine. The third item is still working fine because the capacity is uh, uh, free, so you can see after the the third item was added, we obtain a queue with the three elements. However, once we added the third item, the queue will be full. So, because of that, uh, we will uh, need to, uh, when, when we try to add a new item to the queue, we'll get an exception and uh, the queue will not be modified. So even if we try to add the fourth item, uh, the queue remains with only three items and we got an exception when uh, the operation was executed. Now let's try to do the same operation for the DQ method. Again, we'll print a description of the operation, in this case just a queue from which we'll uh, try to get the element, and then we will show the, if we got any error or if the DQ was successful. If it was successful, we also show the items that we got uh, based on uh, the DQ, and at the end we'll print the new uh, structure of the queue so we can see how the queue was modified by our DQ operation. So we'll test uh, the NQ and DQ. We edit the first four elements, then we take two down, uh, we add another two, and then we try to take four elements out of the queue. Let's see how this is executed. So, uh, first we started by adding three elements, and these work fine. As you can see, after each element, the queue contains that element. After the third element, I will have the uh, queue with all three elements. Now, we created this queue with a capacity of three, so um, 
when we edit the third element the cube becomes full therefore when we try to add the fourth element we'll get an exception like we saw previously and uh, will not be added to the queue so the queue remains with two elements uh, then we dequeue one element and we got the, my first element because this was the first that we added and uh, the queue now remain only with second and third uh, item and if we dequeue again I will get my second item and uh, if I look at the queue uh, it will uh, remain with uh, uh, only the uh, third item now we can add again two elements so we'll add the fourth element and my queue will have third and fourth item and then we'll add the fifth element and now we have again a full queue with uh, uh, third fourth and fifth item and in the end we'll just try four times to remove the items and we'll get elements the first three times because I have three elements in my queue so I get them my third items and my fourth items and my fifth item but after I get them my fifth item the queue will be empty so uh, when we try to dequeue again we'll get an error a runtime exception telling me that the queue is empty uh, we see that uh, the NQ and DQ methods work fine and uh, also we check the size and is empty that uh, also they work fine in all of these uh, uh, tests